What is going on, my stock market bulls and bears? I'm your host, Terry, and welcome to my channel, baby. Buy that dip. Woo wee is all I gotta say about this one right here, guys. We're talking about that GNOG. That's right. Go to Nugget Online Gaming, the stock that we started out the channel on. So, we got big news today. We got a lot to cover. I don't have the mad dog in there. You guys may be looking for it. But I'm still the mayor of Genogville. That's right. I'm your boy, Terry Tillman. We get into Terry Tillman mode once we're talking about Genog. So, I believe with this news, this new analyst rating, there's a little bit of life back in the stock. Now, I know we've been seeing a lot of red days, and this thing's beat down. You can see I'm currently even down on my position, but still got a smile on my face because I'm excited about the future. Uh, this is one that I planned on when I bought it. I was holding it out because I knew where I wanted to get on this. So we're going to go over these analyst ratings, guys. Uh, people have been asking about the shirt. If you like the Buy the Dip t-shirt, you should see at the bottom of videos a Teespring store. You can just scroll across. You can go in there and check it out. I got these shirts, mugs, everything in there. I uh, got links down in my video description, guys. Uh, uh, Patreon, join the group. We're trying to get that to grow. We got Weeble and Robinhood links. Download those. Get some stuff, some free stock. Help the channel grow. Help your portfolio go with those free stocks. So guys, let's get to the video, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. And let's get right to the headline. That's right here on Casino.org. Golden Nugget online stock has potential to double, says analyst. That's right, guys. We got a second analyst giving this a buy rating. Up nearly 8% in late trading. Golden Nugget. Stock is one of today's best performing gaming equities. That's after a sell side analyst said, shares of the internet casino operator have the potential to more than double. That's right. If we get out here in a note into today's client, B Riley analyst David Bain starts coverage of Genog with a buy rating and a 12 month price target of $27. More than double the $12 area in which the stock currently resides. That may sound like ambitious forecast for a name that struggled since going public last December, but Bain actually views the call as conservative. Now, what I must say, that is exciting that he's saying $27 is his conservative uh, you know, price target on this, the analyst rating. Here he says in a quote, we believe GNOG sustained iGaming market share in New Jersey. The most mature US legal iGaming market justifies our conservative market share ramp assumptions. An upcoming iGaming market goes live and offers case study visibility to GNOG's profitability, said the analyst. Bain's GNOG price target is also well above the Wall Street average of 24. And there is a lot more down here. Maybe we'll come back to that at the end of the video. Guys, if you didn't check out the video I did just back a couple days ago on July the 5th, right here, we covered where Jeffries, the Jeffries analyst, gave this a $24 buy rating on the hidden channel right here. It is. $24 price target. Thank you to everyone that watched that GNOG video and gave it a big thumbs up. Uh, but super exciting that we got that. And now we have another analyst come in and we talked about in that video how it'd be nice to get another analyst to come in and give this another rating. And not only did we get a rating, but I wanted to show you guys this. If you're here on the NASDAQ.com guys, right here it is. Genog Analyst Research. Check this out. Now I don't think it's fully updated, but Genog analyst ratings consensus. It's a strong buy. I like seeing that. Not just a buy, but a strong buy. Now this here says on the right, based on one analyst offering recommendation for Genog in the last three months. Uh, this here shows where it's Jeffries and Company, you know, give the analyst rating. Now I don't think that's truly updated. Because that says 2333, I believe Jeffries did give it a $24 price target. B. Riley analyst David Bain started, yeah. So B. Riley analyst there gave it a $27 conservative price target. Now that is super exciting. On a side note, if you ever go into Robinhood and check out stocks that are in the title Daily Movers, well, guess who is in the Daily Movers? And I must say, 
it's one of the first times I can ever remember seeing go to Nugget Online Gaming in the top 20 daily movers and in there for a positive reason because this stock is up 10.82% today and it says we got a market cap of 1.15 billion. So I thought that was pretty cool guys to go in there and see Golden Nugget in the daily movers. I believe that analyst rating definitely bumped it up. That really helped and I do think with two different analysts now giving us a strong buy of 24 and 27 dollars we're going to see a lot of movement in this stock. I think we're going to start to see it. Now the short term here can go whatever but they're giving this thing a $27 conservative in the short, uh, within the next year. So I'm happy to hang on to what I got. May go ahead and grab some more if we come into some money. So we'll see what happens. Uh, now we're gonna go check out the Fintel website and see what they got on the short interest on this band. And all right, here we are on the Fintel website. It says the short volume ratio is 30.33%. If we scroll down here and look at this daily, check this out guys. For today on July the 8th, 28.47 short volume ratio. Look back on the 7th, 30.33 short volume ratio. This thing has been hovering around 26% on average. In the last two days, it's 30% and 28%. So what that means is that you can see the short volume ratio for today, for example, there was 2.65 million shares traded, which was bought and sold today in the stock market. And the shorts, short at 755,000 shares. So of that is 28%, roughly 28.5% of the shares were shorted that was traded today. And it's actually kind of hot. So I'm gonna be super excited, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna buckle down. We're gonna get this premium version. As you can see, everything's locked. So we're gonna buckle down and get the premium version where we'll be able to bring all this unlocked information to you guys. I'm gonna be super excited about bringing you this on different stocks. That is one of the perks we're going to have in the Patreon group because we may not be able to cover every stock in the channel. But if you have a stock that you could be interested in getting some Fintel detailed information, you join the Patreon group, we can send you some information on it and be able to hook you up. That way you can get that information on your stock and I can post that in there of people's stocks that they're asking about. So that's one good thing I think after I get the uh, Fintel, we're going to put that as a good plus in the Patreon group. So let's go back here now. And I think we got, I wanted to say, I can say stock Twix on a sense, as a note, has a little bit more life today. Oh, uh, there is almost 33,000 watchers in there. You know, everything you get in there, you take it with a grain of salt. But I wanted to go back here and end it with a little bit here of this ending here. Purity potentially powerful for Genog stock. In the still young online casinos and sports wagering industries, if there's one thing analysts and investors alike, it's purity. That means land-based casino operators are moving to sports wagering and iGaming are apt to ascribe higher multiples to companies with no brick and mortar casino business. It's the reason investors previously loved the names such as DraftKings and as possible catalysts for GNOG according to Bain. While GNOG does have online sports books in some states, its bread and butter are the internet casinos. Bain says that a positive because margins are better, which I've said this for the last year on my channel, why I like GNOG better than DraftKings, because DraftKings is focusing on the sports book, and there is maybe a larger pool in a sense of people in the sports book, but you're not, your probability isn't as big as someone playing with you know, slot machines, table games. That's where the bread and butter is. And I agree with the analyst. I usually try to agree with, you know, what people like, but I've always thought that GNOG was solely undervalued compared to DraftKings because I thought DraftKings is just overvalued, guys. I felt that way and I still feel that way. I still believe DraftKings is overvalued compared to GNOG. That's just my personal opinion. Whether I'm right or wrong, I've been saying it for a year. If you've been following me, you know I've been saying it. I got videos on it, proving why I, you know, I say all that. There's a lot of great information down here. You can get more information of that. Their revenues, all kind of great information, how they're linked up with you know, the golden members of Tillman's other restaurants and land-based stuff. So guys, 
Hope you all enjoyed this action-packed video. If you did, smash that thumbs up, consider subscribing, and consider checking out the links below to help the channel out. And guys, I will catch you all in the next one. And remember to buy the dip, baby. Let's go.